Um, I found this a really difficult question to answer because it's very broad and you could take that answer from several points of view. But here are a few thoughts that came to my mind. Uh, firstly, I think it's very important for the instructor to engage with the audience. So we have to know our audience and, and often it may be an audience we're familiar with, such as students that we're teaching. But if it's a special presentation, then we might need to do a little background research to know how to pitch our um, talk so that it will really connect well with those people who are listening. Um, secondly, I find it useful to break up the lecture with um, maybe a demonstration or something tactile that we can hand around for students to look at. Uh, for example, in one class that I teach, we, we hand around a device that they can look at and see how that actually works that I might be describing uh, in the lecture itself. Thirdly, the thought that came to my mind was um, what inspired me when I was a student of physics. And uh, for me, I was very excited even from my first physics class uh, when I was 14 and we started specializing to see the relationship between um, physical laws and mathematics and then things we could describe in the real world. So I have a little illustration of that here. Um, so we have the physical concepts and laws at one part of this relationship. And then mathematics, to me, was so exciting to find out how we can really apply some of that basic math that we learn um, at O level or even um, beyond that. And then how all of this can feed into real world engineering applications. So we can really describe things that we can actually go out and measure in the laboratory. And uh, that was what excited me.